Well, they're very disappointing numbers showing that the Bank of England now expect absolutely no growth at all in 2012, but more than that, for future years as well, they've revised down the growth forecasts that show it's not just damage being done to the economy today, but also into the future permanent loss of growth that we won't be able to get back. Well, for two years now, we've um, heard from the government that there's no need for a plan B, that plan A is working. And I just wonder how much more evidence do we need that the plan isn't working? The economy is now in a double dip recession, the longest double dip recession for 50 years. The economy has shrunk over the last two and a bit years since the coalition came to power. Unemployment is higher when the coalition came to power and of course the deficit is now going up and not down because the reality is if you've got more people out of work claiming benefits and fewer people in work paying taxes then that gap between what the government is spending and what it's bringing in gets wider and wider so the government do urgently need to rethink their plan there is space to do that as the IMF have said and as things just get worse and not better I wonder how long it's going to take before the government realises its plan just is not working.